looking out at? What are you looking for, 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 for from them this year? Um, and what's the outlook? You know? Look for them to make plays, get out there and, and be leaders. They're ready to take over that leadership role and and uh, just take over games. And, you know, so, but obviously take one day at a time and just look for them to, to dominate each day while we wait for the game. Games just... talked about playing with his hand off the ground more this year. Mm -hmm. How different is that going to be for him? Is that necessitate you to coach him differently? Yeah, it's a little different just because, you know, it's, I mean, it's just a different scheme, different things. You ask them to look for what their their vision allows them to, to see when they're, when they're standing up. But um, it's the same concept. You just got to find the ball, you know, set the edge and make sure you find that ball. You think his skill set is suited for something? 100%. Like that? Yeah. That's the beauty about Aiden. He's so versatile. He can play whatever uh, position we ask him to. What is it like being able to interact with recruits again for the first time? It's like, so awesome. Not just recruits, but just human beings. You know, it's just <laughs> nice to, to just have interactions and, and conversations and shake hands, hug people. It's just it's just so awesome. And with all the shakeups in, in the recruiting department, how do you think that will, will help you guys and in, 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 in what you guys are trying to do? Anytime you get fresh blood, fresh ideas, it, it, it helps you um, um, look at things differently. So it's it's been really really fun. Been, I, I know you can't I know you can't comment on specific recruits, but like, is there anything different about like the way you hosted recruits now versus like before the pandemic? Like, did you guys change anything up with the visit days, anything like that? I feel like I'm rusty. You know, I'm rusty <laughs> right now. I'm just you know just I mean still good at saying hello to people. It's just like. You forget that you know 48 hours go by fast you know so just good reminder you know get, get back into the game of recruiting has it been as crazy more crazier than years past just because there's been such a long layoff because it's crazy because it's in the month where you have camps at the same time mm -hmm. so we're out camps back into most recruits you know so it's, it's just non-stop how, how does that rule change the ncaa put in place how does that change recruiting which you know, rule, the which one rule? being able to individually work out recruits on campus it just adds another element to, to, to the whole recruiting here. Do you like it or? Yeah, heck yeah. Anytime you have a chance to look at players move around and, and react and, and some of the challenges you throw at them, it's good. Yeah. Adding some guys with, with mission and flavor on the staff, how do you think that would benefit the in-state recruiting, obviously being out here and Come building on. these relationships? They love Ron Bellamy. <laughs> you know, they love Mike Hart. They love, you know, so it's, it's awesome. New defensive coordinator, what's it, what's it been like working with Mike McDonald? Um, it's, it's awesome to have someone with a lot of knowledge, especially from the NFL, and you know, it's just it's been it's been really really fun, especially with young too. You know, we hear a lot about the different defense. How different is it really compared to what we saw last year? I mean, it's different philosophy, just what you know, just from the product, the, the the type of uh, the size of players and all that stuff. But it's the same concept, you know. We're trying to like disrupt the offense. So it's, it may be a little bit different in, in what they want from uh, the player size and all that kind of stuff, but it's, it's still the same same concept. You run to the ball, be fundamentally and technically sound, and, and, and try to get those damn RPOs out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Who are some of those younger defensive linemen that kind of improved or impressed you, got to impress you maybe in the, the spring? Um, all of them have. You know, it, some of them are not young, like Mazda Smith. He says he's young, but he's been there for a couple of years now, so he's, he's he's probably the guy that's you know stood out a lot. You know, but even Chris Hinton, you know, I think he's a veteran because he's played a lot, but he's still young and he's 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 got a lot going on too. So. Um, they're doing a good job of, of, of staying hungry. Who are some of the emerging guys on the edge, like maybe a Mike Morris or some of those? David Ojabo. Kind of yep. David Ojabo. All those guys are, yeah. And all the guys that you named earlier. What, what was the terminology you guys are using on the defensive line? Like, like is there a new name for the edge positions? What, what do you guys call it? Yeah. There's a lot of names. I'm not going to tell you. That. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess then from the for the interior guys, you mentioned a couple earlier, like Mazi, Chris. Do their responsibilities change in the new defense? And then what might no, be? the the responsibilities still be disruptive up front, and so it's it's just vocabulary might be different, but it's the same thing we're trying to do. You know, trying to like 
be physical up front and then be disrupted in the pass and then stop the run. What did you guys stress in spring? This defensive line. Vocabulary, get used to the new playbook. That's why, you know, just get used to the new playbook and then uh, towards the end of the spring, get used to how Coach McDonald calls the defense where he likes in certain situations, but vocabulary, it's, it's a new language. How, how, how far do you think they got? Far, pretty good. They, they did a great job of buying in and, and um, they just spent a lot of time and, and, and diving into the playbook. You're one of the coaches that have been here for a few years now. Some of the guys in the spring said it was kind of a different energy in the spring uh, with the new staff and, you know, you got a bunch of new guys on the defensive side. Did you sense that and how different, I guess, was it from that standpoint? It's, it's new. It's new and all that. I went from the youngest in the staff to the oldest. Right, now you're right. You know, like, I'm like, gosh, dang, that sucks. <laughs> so, you know, I had to match those young guys' energy. But yeah. when you're young, your knees are springier. I, mean, I don't even know if that's a word, but you got more spring in your knees. I think so. You know? So it's, yeah, so, but, um, shoot, uh, they, they just bring, you know, everybody's young. Now I'm not young anymore. Right. So we just got, um, uh, uh, Clink, he's the he's the old man now. Right. I'm not I'm not the old man. You're happy about that. I'm happy about that. <laughs> yep, very happy. This means you're more experienced, right? Yeah, <laughs> I guess you can say that. But but that's how fast the thing turns. But from the youngest to the True, oldest, yeah. you know. And yeah, I was gonna enjoy that role. I was gonna, you better listen to your elders, you know. Yeah, but, yeah you gotta flip it on them. Yeah, man. but Clink is Clink is the elder man. Yeah. I know uh, some of the freshmen just got on campus. You know, what, what are you expecting from some of those guys this year? Like Rayshon Benny, TJ yeah. guys, and those guys. I mean, you know, they they got they got you know, there's a couple of spots up there where we need them to to really pick it up, and um, they got to really take advantage of the next couple of months. You know, they have a good chance of, of making a run for at least a, a primary backup role, and you know, but they, I'm, I'm excited to see what they can do. They're already rolling right now. From, from a depth perspective, mm -hmm. defensive line, are you guys where at where you're at? Are you are you happy with where you're at? Um, I'm happy where we're at, but. But like I said, we really need these next couple of months. Like we really need them to, to take advantage of it, so they can, so they can make it a solid depth. But happy where we have body wise and who we have. Right.